right, I have really never seen a guitar quite like this before. The guys at Enya Music sent over their new Nova Go Sonic guitar for me to check out. And at first, I really like just the aesthetic of the guitar. All, all white matte finish with white pickups, you know, dark wood matching headstock. It almost made me want to go buy like a KFC bucket to put on my head, if you know what I mean. So as you saw in that little demo at the beginning, this guitar has a built-in speaker built into the guitar that is 10 watts, by the way. So it's plenty loud. The thing is, it really fills a room. But not only does it have a built-in speaker, but you can actually toggle between different sounds. Clean channel, a crunch, a heavier distortion. And then like a lead channel with some delay on it. That, that's crazy to me. Like this thing actually sounds way better than I thought it would. At first, I honestly thought it would be a little more on the gimmicky side, but this thing is solid. This is an awesome guitar to play. It's really, really comfortable, extremely lightweight. By the way, this guitar is not made of wood. There is no wood on this guitar. It is actually carbon fiber composite, the neck and the body. So you don't have to worry about temperature or humidity and stuff like that. You could play this outside in, in the winter time and not have to worry about it. I have another carbon fiber guitar that was sent to me before, an acoustic, and it doesn't have a truss rod in the neck. And I was very happy that this guitar still has a truss rod for the neck and also heel mounted. So extremely easy to access. I gave it just like a little adjustment before the video and so easy and um, you know practical to have it right there. No fussing with truss rod covers up here or taking off the neck. Whoever designed a guitar that way, by the way, like who, anyways, it's got 22 frets. It has the zero fret, by the way, on the, the first fret there. So uh, pretty cool feature and it keeps the action nice and low to the fretboard. Check out the back of this guitar. So you have this cavity here that you can take off for changing strings and stuff like that. But look at that neck joint, like absolutely nothing in your hand when you're playing. Extremely comfortable to reach higher fret access there. We have an Alnico 2 pickup in the neck, I'm, I believe, and an Alnico 5 in the bridge. A little more output there. Traditional kind of Les Paul style uh, tailpiece here that's you know super easy to adjust for action and intonation. Just a really, really cool guitar. The the knobs, by the way, obviously you have your pickup selector here uh, between bridge and neck. There's actually two different, you know, volumes on this guitar. There's a speaker volume and then also, you know, your normal volume. The normal volume affects output, of course, and the speaker volume, you keep that high output, but just turning down the speaker on the guitar. Back when I used to teach in person full time, a very common thing that I would hear from parents and students, especially for students who start on acoustic and then they're kind of hesitant to make the switch to electric guitar is that they'd have to buy an amp with the guitar and that can be a deterrent when you don't really want to spend the extra money to make the switch over. Usually electric guitars are already a couple hundred dollars at least and then you have to fork out some extra money for the amp. I thought this, this thing just solves that problem. You get the guitar and the amp in one. You don't have to worry about lugging around, no patch cables, nothing. You can still plug this guitar into a normal amp or interface or whatever you use but it's just so cool that as like a practice tool or even if you wanted to you know play at a campfire and you know play electric instead of acoustic everyone's sick of hearing Wonderwall you want to play some Black Sabbath or something like that you got this speaker built in and it, it sounds awesome it, it really really is cool so I've never really seen anything like this before and I've had a lot of fun kind of jamming on it in the last couple days and I, I really think the tone of it sounds great uh, coming from a very small speaker built into the guitar, I did not expect it to sound this good. The really cool thing as well with this guitar is it has an app that you can download and you can actually control the sounds, the tones, and even the effects of those four different preset banks and save them to the guitar. You can plug in the guitar into your computer via USB, which is just a crazy sentence, by the way. I don't think I've ever said that before. <laughs> that's just really, really modern. The technology that's available for us guitar players nowadays is just unbelievable. It's it's so cool what's out there for us. So you can control the sounds and, and tailor them and even EQ. It has a built-in EQ in the app. So even if you want to, you know, get a little bit of a, a different frequency for your tone, you can save that into the guitar so that when you go between those different, uh, you know, colored presets, colored banks there, as you can see, 
so, so cool. It saves that tone that you created on the app. I absolutely love the way it looks. That matte white finish is just super clean, super modern. It's like if Apple made a guitar. It's just like, it's really, really cool. It's by it's super thin, by the way, the way it sits on your lap and everything, incredibly uh, thin and just super, super comfortable. So even for like, you know, younger students or beginners, it's just like a perfect guitar to sit with and jam on. <laughs> This thing's honestly a lot of fun to play with. So I think I'm just gonna keep jamming on it. You guys let me know what you think in the comments of this guitar, the aesthetics, the sound. And uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep jamming. So I'll see you guys in the next video.